for a while. I've just been crazy busy. I've been trying to keep up with you guys on different social media, like, you know, platforms that I have and things, and I know you guys miss me. I miss you too. I would do this every day if I could, but I, you guys know I run my own small jewelry line, so it's, um, I've just been really busy. Anyway, no excuse. Okay, let's get back right into it. Um, didn't have time for a vlog. You guys know that, like, like, I literally, like, do the same thing every day. I go to work and, like, bitch and complain and eat and drink coffee. Um, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't, I feel like a lot of YouTubers who just do YouTube for a living can vlog more because they can, like, come up with things to do during the day and, like, take you guys places and shit. But, like, uh, like, okay, I don't know. It's different with me. And so I'm going to vlog again next week, but this week is going to be like more of like like me ranting and raving or not even probably not raving because I don't like absolutely love anything you guys know that but just like my favorite my favorite things my favorite not favorite I don't do favorite stuff because I don't like anything you guys know that like I have to really fucking love something to share it but I do have things that I want to talk about so this is kind of probably gonna be like super bitchy video just about stuff I don't know like who knows where this video is gonna fucking go, you guys? Honestly, let's be real. Like, I have no idea. I could start talking about the goddamn weather. Like, okay, sorry. Um, all right, but it's just gonna be things that like I have around me that I like, that I don't like, that I'm whatever. Oh god. Okay. All right. Sorry. I'm like, oh, why am I always all over the place? All right. Sorry. And then um, I don't know. Like, I'm sitting on my couch right now, so hopefully, hopefully, the lighting's good. Uh, all right. Let's get into it. I have a list too because I don't want to um, like forget things and it's not, this is not like that typical annoying like, oh favorites, like I got this from CVS and I went on a Target haul and then I went to Forever 21. It's not like that. It's like, I think it's like legit things that like people who like aren't, oh I can't even say it. It's not like a basic haul or it's not like a basic favorites. I should call this like not basic favorites of the month. Oh my God, I would die or that I, I would be killed. All right, let's go. Stop. I have a list. Okay. First thing I talk about because it's sitting right here and I'm just kind of annoyed by it, honestly, because I'm just, I'm so over it. Like, okay. I don't want to be mean because I really actually like the people that work at these places. Um, and I do frequent these places. So just like, I don't want anyone to like, like, I don't know. I'm not trying to make people feel bad. Bao is so fucking cute right now. He's laying down like a melted ice cream. He's like, he's melted because he's like laying down flat. Sorry. Okay. Um, all right, this is a thing. Why, what is, I'm so over the bad quality of everything lately. Like everything absolutely fucking sucks. Um, okay, so I, I'm not, this is from Creation and I, this is what happened. You guys know I'm not like into like, like health foods and like juicing and like vegan stuff. And if you are fine, I don't even care. Like don't even write anything because I don't care. Like I really don't. Um, it d doesn't affect me at all. Do you, and I'm going to do me because I'm not going to change for anyone. So let's just keep it real, really. All right. This is an almond milk latte. And the only reason I went to this hippie place is because someone I was with wanted a smoothie. And so I went there and like, I was okay. Almond milk. Like, um, I was, honestly, I was like, I was like, I'm going to try it just to see what it tastes like. Because I tasted almond milk from like the, the carton and it tastes like absolute shit to me. I hate it. It's gross. It tastes like sour piss. I don't know. I don't like it. Okay. So I tried it and, um, it was, I really liked it that time because it was thick. It almost like, it's almost more like a meal because you could feel, it could taste like the almond grits in your mouth. And I felt like it was getting something more substantial than like a milk latte. That's why I liked it. Okay. I've been back there several times since and the second time was okay. And the last times were terrible. So I was like, I'm going to try it again today because I want to talk about my favorite coffees. I have not been to Starbucks. Like the thought of Starbucks drinking Starbucks lately, I just like, but like it just, I don't know. I, I, my taste buds are not for Starbucks right now. I just don't, I'm not feeling like, I'm not feeling like going to get like anything from there. Like, I don't know why it's become like, like it's bec my, my palate has become desensitized to it. It's like disgusting to me now. I just, I don't know. Disgusting. It's just like, I don't know. I don't get excited for it. So anyway, this is an almond latte. Okay. The problem with this is they use some kind of a, like a spoon or something to mix this. I bet that was previously touched something else because this tastes like fucking curry. Okay. 
it tastes like there's like a curry taste, like curry almond milk. Yeah, okay. That's disgusting. I'm like trying to drink it because I paid $5 for it and I fucking drove here to get it. Like it's not like an easy place to get to. Like it's on Abbott Kinney, the one I, when I went to this morning. Like it's, I had to fucking park like it's annoying. Um, so I'm kind of mad about this because it was good in like before, when I first tried it and now it sucks. Um, okay, this is what I, I go, I don't know. I'm going to keep going here because that first time for the first couple times that I went there, I loved it. So I don't want to like give up on it. You know what I mean? I really want that first one back. Um, but I like that fresh, thick almond milk that they put it in originally, minus this curry flavor. Like, clean your fucking utensil. I don't know what you did. The next thing, um, the next one that I really am liking lately or that I'm going to is my um, La Pain, quote, whatever. And I'm going to show you guys this. I, apparently, through the end of the year, I bought this, like, almost three weeks ago, I think. But they offered it to me because I know I came in there a lot. And it's, um, you get this card and you get, like, a free tote bag. And if you present this card every time you go in, you get a free drink. Now, when because I know the people there, they don't, like, when the manager rings me up, he makes me buy something because it's a free drink with every purchase. So, but because I know everyone that go there a lot, they always just give me a free drink. I don't have to buy, like, a pastry or something. But it's actually a free drink with every purchase. And I've been going here a lot. You guys know that from my vlogs. And I just get, like, three shots of espresso over ice. And then I put some cinnamon in it and maybe a little bit of half and half. Um, that's what I've been doing with my coffees. I know you guys are very interested in like coffee. My coffee taste buds change all the time because I drink it a lot and frequently. Um, I, you know, I'm like a big snob about it, I feel like, as far as where I go. I mean, I'll probably start liking Starbucks again, but I don't like them right now. I mean, I just don't feel like it. Okay, that's the coffee. Next thing I'll talk about is lips because I have nothing on my lips right now and I wanted to um, get them on so you guys can see. Where's my fucking, okay, so. I know a lot of you guys are basics out there, and I'm um, sorry, that's so mean, right? And you don't like lip injections, and that's cool. Like you don't have to, you don't have to like them. It's okay. <laughs> but I like lip injections. You guys know that. You guys can say that I have, like my lips are disgusting or whatever. But I really don't think they are. I might look like look back on these videos and be like, what in the fuck did you do to your lips at that point in your life? That's cool. Right now, I'm liking them. Okay, so I would like them. I, I, like, I feel like they're a perfect size right now, but I also, the plumper the better in regard, and what I feel like. Anyway, this is what I've been doing. For y'all who don't like plump, or who don't want to get injections because you think it's bad or whatever, fucking whatever, I don't care, um, but you like the idea of plump lips, do this. And if you have, if you're like me, who's not basic, and you have injections and you want even more plump lips, which is like a lot of my subbies, um, do this. Okay, here we go. So you guys know this trick from me last time, right? Like, that's what I do a lot. Now, draw, okay, this is kind of, someone's like, oh my God, she drew an ass on her mouth. Uh, watch, I guarantee you, and I'm just calling this because that's something I might think if someone was doing this, but it's not, watch, so cute. Before. After. You cannot tell me that that does not make my lip, hold on, is it a little bit too stark? Look more plump. Like, it literally looks like I just got another shot of like injection in my lip. Right? It just makes it look like a crease, like it's so pouty. I don't know, I love that. I think I saw it on like someone's contouring video or um, Instagram or something. And I was like, um, I don't want to do like the whole thing, but I think just that one little line and then like curve it a little bit. So it's kind of like rounded looking, like rounded and rounded. It makes it look so nice. Um, I don't put anything on my top lip. I don't focus on the top lip at all. I just focus on a big bottom and that's just my preference and the way I want my lips to look. I don't know. I like it. Okay. That's that. The next thing I'm going to talk about is HRH Black Friday, and I know a lot of, I've been getting so many emails in the past, like, three weeks asking if I'm going to have Black Friday sales, and it's like, I don't know what to say, because I'm not going to, like, 
I don't, I don't know. Am I supposed to say I'm going to? I, I'm not sure. Like, I've been trying to put it off, but I feel like I can't put it off anymore, especially because I'm uploading this video now. So, you guys, like, I wanted, I want to say, first of all, I think I love you guys so much. Like, I'm so thankful. The one thing, besides, like, health and family and things like that, and, like, but my bunnies, I... You guys, like, are that, like, at the top of my list are things that I love so much. Like, I love checking my Instagram and seeing your comments. I love seeing the comments on here. I love the support you guys give me. I love the, like, the, the uplifting and, like, just, I feel like we're best friends, and I just fucking love it so much. I'm not kidding. So, I really wanted to do some really great offer this time. That, yeah, an offer, or it's actually a gift for you guys for HRH Black Friday, and I I knew last time when I did my free tattoo bracelet, everyone loved it, and everyone, I mean, a lot of people took advantage of it, and a lot of people loved my tattoo bracelets. But I wanted to do something, I wanted to go a little bit f further this time. I didn't want to do the same, um, you know, another another bracelet. I did bracelets a couple times. Uh, I wanted to just, I wanted to be even better. And I don't feel like I'm gonna be able to top this next year, but I, I just, I think this is amazing. and. Uh, it's just because I love you guys. I feel like my channel has grown recently and I wanted to really, really, truly from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys. Okay, get on with it. I, but I, I don't know how else to say. Anyway, okay, so I'm going to be, I found, no, okay. I'm going to be offering this really, really beautiful scarf. Let me find the, and I want to show you guys it up close. It's kind of like all fucking wrapped around bad. Um, where is it? With all, it's on a hanger. Okay, it has the HRH collection um, tag on it. Okay, it's a black scarf with metallic running through it. it. Has little frayed edges. It's really thick and luscious. It's not like some chintzy throwaway item. And that's what I wanted to focus on this year. I, I mean, nothing I've ever done has been a throwaway item, but I wanted to make sure that this was a nice gift that everyone would like and enjoy, and it wouldn't be a throwaway, it's an, an actual item that you would buy and that I like. Um, it just, it, I was, I really wanted to go above and beyond, and I feel like this is that. You'll see it, you'll be like, I can't believe that, um, you know, this is a free gift. It's just not, it's not like free gift, uh, what's it called, quality. You know, usually you get like a free gift from like Victoria's Secret or something. Well, those bags they give are nice, but um, I just like the way the HRH collection is on the side. It's very, you know, it's good. If you love the line, then this is something that you love, that you would love. It's really just, it's a beautiful piece. Hold on. I'm coming down, um, so like that, it's, it's a real thick piece. It's a really long piece. It's not chintzy, and I feel like it's just really nice. Um, okay, so the deal is, is going to be... You have to spend $150 on the site or via email with me when you place an order to receive this for free. The limit, the quantities are limited on this, um, and so if it gets to be where these are sold out, I'm going to, um, it's, it's going to be a different color. I'm going to bring in either a bone color or like a nude peach color, depending on which one I decide. I can't decide which one I want, but um, those were my second choice. But I figured black, Black Friday, I wear a lot of black. I thought wanted to do this black one. But it's really, really, really pretty. It's really thick and when you, it's really soft, so don't be like, oh, it's some kind of fucking cheap throwaway bullshit. It's not, it's really, really pretty. Um, and of course it's branded, so it's not just, you know, some kind of nothing item. So that's that. Um, I'm going to start my Black Friday sale today. It's going to be a little bit early, and I know these will sell out. So if you guys want the black one, I would definitely suggest getting your orders in now. Um, and then after that, the nude or the, pe the the bone or the peach color will come in. But it's really, really nice. And I like just I wanted to do something really great because I really want to thank you guys. And $150, I think, is really a, a really fair and great deal for something like as nice as this. So. Um, Yes, free HRH collection, metallic black uh, winter winter fall scarf, and I just um, it's really nice, and I hope you guys like. It. I know you'll like it. I'll be like, you'll be like, well, it's like a, a nice item. Okay, um, and then I'm actually wearing these two are not available. So yeah, for the sale, you guys, um, 
If you don't see something online, you know you can always email me, hrhcollection at gmail.com. If you're not, a lot of people say the site's confusing. If you're not like always on the site, it can get confusing, I understand, and I apologize. I'm trying to get that whole site redone so it's easier for everyone, just taking time for me because I do everything pretty much alone. Um, so until then, if you guys get confused, you guys know I'll just take like photos. You can send me a photo and say, I want this, this, and that, and I would be more than happy to help you. Just include your shipping information. I'll send you an invoice. But this is the Dripping Crystals Choker. It's all crystals, seamless all the way around. This is my single pearl um, choker made with a Swarovski-based pearl. This is my Silver Delicate Bones. So these, all three are online. These are not. This is my Silver Delicate Bones necklace, my Sleek Mod uh, Lariat, and my Lux Round Cube. And this is these are all really, really lovely, like nice quality, of course. They're all handmade by me and original designs. Um, by me, of course. Okay, that's the Black Hall Black Friday. I know a lot of people. I could talk about this line forever. I'm going to show some new stones later on, but I want to get back to like other things that I want to show you too. All right, the next thing I want to talk about is bags. And yes, I've bought a couple bags lately, a few bags lately, and no, none of them have been returned. I don't want to even. It's just so fucking irritating to me. Like if I show a new bag on my Instagram. I don't understand why people say, oh my gosh, did you return the one, last one you bought? Like, why would I, re no, no, like, no, I didn't. And I don't know why it gets, that irritates me so much because it's like one thing someone writes somewhere, it just gets completely blown out of proportion. Like, don't believe things you write, you read on the internet. It's such fucking bullshit. Like, Decide for yourself. Don't read something like, oh, I, I don't know. I hate that returning thing. Like, it just bothers me. Like, why would I return it? Because I bought a bag of and didn't re I returned another bag. Like, so annoying. Okay. So, yeah. I want to talk about this bag. I don't think I've really talked about it a lot. And I wanted to kind of do a little, a little bit, like, more of a reveal of it. Because you guys um, haven't really seen, I mean, I haven't really talked about it. And it's a fucking amazing bag. Okay. I love the style of it, first of all. I want I don't know, for, I don't know what this is called. I think it's from the Chanel Soul collection, um, Paris Soul. And it immediately gravitated to me because of my gems. Now, um, I originally had this serpent, this is not a, a vintage one. This is the new serpent kind of, um, serpent on acid gem. I had this, uh, uh, an original one. Swarovski recently re-released these in like a newer, like a different version, but I had vintage ones like two years ago. Um, and they obviously sold out real fast, but this one looks to me, not looks to me, is exactly the same colors as this bag. And of course, when I saw it, I immediately thought about my stones. I was like, this bag was made for me. Look at the only other better bag would be a, an, a bag that looked like AB, right? You know what I mean? Like there, there's no better bag. Anyway, there's a lot of detail, a lot of hanging rainbowy color. I guess it's called oil slick, even though I don't know why when I think about oil slick, I, I don't use that term. I don't like that term. It sounds gross. Like it looks like serpenty, like peacock scarab to me. Um, everyone says oil slick. Yeah, that may be the, the correct term, but I don't like it, so I don't use it. It's not. It's scarab, and it's HRH, okay? <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, so this is it, and it has a really, it's almost like a camera strap. Why is it so fucking uncomfortable right now? What is going on? It's like twisted. Oh, there, okay. Okay, so there. It's, um, it's really comfortable. It, even though there's a lot going on, it doesn't get in the way. You know what I mean? There are chains, like there's big clasps, there's, I don't know. It doesn't get in the way. It's really easy to wear, whether you want to wear it crossbody or over one shoulder, like it's nice. The inside of it is big. You would, I think you would imagine more would fit in it than it does. It's a little small for some, I would, I, just because it looks a little bit bigger, I would imagine more would fit than, than it does, but it's still big. Um, it was expensive. It was 4700 Here's the SKU if you guys want to know. And this is just to help you guys. I don't, it's not showing off. You can go, like I always say, you can go to any fucking Chanel store and look at the price. So it's nothing to do with me. Um, I always like to disclose that because even one of those comments, like, oh my God, like you showed the, I don't know. Okay. Um, so I just really like this. I wanted to show it to you. It's like one of my, like, it's just so, it's just like, I don't know. It's so cute. Um, it's so cute, it's so different, and it's so HRH because of the stones, I feel like, and 
and so cool. Like, I don't know, they did a really good job and I was really happy. The leather is metallic, like, I mean, how, how much more cool stuff can you do this bag? I think it's really, really cool without, without it being like overbearing, disgusting. Okay, the next thing, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. I need to calm down. All right, I'm gonna calm down. Let's, <laughs> I'm gonna sit back. Let's talk about songs. Um, because I know a lot of you guys love like, you guys know that I'm like big into like music, like not big into music, I just love to listen to music in my car. I don't like go to concerts typically and stuff like that. But okay, I'm just gonna like tell you guys some songs, like maybe four or five songs that I'm loving right now that you need to get. The first one that I've already talked about is Schoolboy Q, There He Go. That song is like so gangster. I know the whole thing by heart. Like I'm one of those really obnoxious white girls in not a stupid like ditzy way I don't think that like knows the entire fucking song. And I just like feel so on when it's on. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Another one that I like, I'm just gonna read stuff out to you guys, okay? I love Kendrick Lamar, ADHD, and the Spiteful Chant, and that one features Schoolboy Q too. That's probably why it's so fucking cool. Um, let's see. Recently, oh, uh, recently added, recently played. Should I just show you guys, like, okay, I, I don't know, am I being boring right now by, like, looking at my phone? What the, you know what, this, song, this phone updated weird, and now it's not like, shh, okay, oh, here we go. Okay. So Good by B.O.B. All right, these are probably old. Opposite of, Dolph, uh, opposite of Adults by Chitty Bang. Jumpman by Drake and Future. Um... I've been liking Flight Facilities Crave You again. I've been listening to that. Like, I don't know. I just think it's cool. And then Lionheart by Girls Generation. Um, you guys know I'm a big, like, K-pop and Chinese, like, I love Chinese music if I can find any that I like. Please tell me some new Chinese music that I would like. Please, below, please. Um, those are awesome songs. So cool. Um, those are, like, on, on repeat. Hole Up by Kendrick Lamar. That one's so good. Aww. Okay, that was, like, a little preview. Okay, so that's that. You guys know I like love I love like rap music. Um, I go in and out. I go through phases of like I, I used to be like a big country music fan, and then I got over that. Not a big country music fan, but like would listen to country a lot more. I don't listen to country anymore. Like who who's out there that I like I don't like anyone anymore out there. Like I don't know. I have to like like them. Okay. All right, let's talk about it. Next thing I'll talk about um is my skin. And Yes, I will, t I will admit, you guys, like, when something looks good, I'll admit it, even if it's on me. Like, I'm not being vain. I just feel like my skin has been, like, on point lately. Now watch tomorrow. My entire fucking face will fall apart now that I said it, but whatever. Um, I don't know what it is. It could have been that retarded facial I did. I, I don't know. I, I, I mean, in conjunction with, like, I do do Botox. You guys know that. Like, in conjunction with that kind of stuff, I'm sure. But... I do think it's something that is very pricey that I use. Plus, not really. I do think it's jeans. Let's not let's not joke about this, okay? A lot of people ask, like, what do you do for your skin? Like, I love your skin. Like, girl, like, if you don't have like good good skin jeans, like, it's gonna be difficult for you to get skin different than your own. I feel like unless you have a, unless you do a lot of work to it and go to, you know what I mean? I feel like jeans is a big, like. The way, I don't know, the way my body is, the way my body is, like, I've got a fat stomach and, like, no boobs, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, I'm not blessed with that, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. So I don't want to tell you to go out, this is why I'm not, like, trying to be a bitch. I don't want to tell you to go out and buy this stuff if you just, like, don't have great skin because it's not going to work, you know what I mean? Like, maybe go fix your face first and then go out and buy expensive products, I think. I'm not a dermatologist. I don't know. This is what I'm just thinking. Okay. This is the Chanel Sublimage Leg Strike. I think this is honestly, I don't even want to say the price because it's fucking expensive, but I think this is what does it for my skin because, I mean, mixed in with the bo Botox really does make your skin look pretty. It makes it look like glass, like smooth. It smooths out your face. So if you've got a wrinkly ass forehead and if you've got fucking crow's feet, don't cry about it, okay? If you want to be natural, cool, but if you're going to cry about it, go get some fucking Botox. I swear to God, you will like... You'll, don't get a ton, don't be like this, but just go like ease up your forehead. Like, I don't understand why, like fine, if you want to live with lines, that's cool, but I don't, and so don't, then don't cry about it, and don't ask like, oh, well, I'm just going to use creams, because that's not going to fucking work. All right, I'm, I'm, am I being over the top? I don't know, probably, sorry. I love you guys, I'm not being mean. <laughs> okay, here we go, stop it. Um, sublimage, okay, 
this is really good. So if you like are in a good place with your skin, you're like, hmm, like what am I gonna, what can I do to make it better? And you want an investment, like if you want a really expensive Christmas present or something, or if you get like a ton of cash for Christmas, maybe get this. Um, you can go and ask for a sample, but I feel like one sample isn't going to do anything. You've got to use it for a while. And I put this on every morning. Like, I do like a pump and a half. And it just brings out the... I don't know what it does, you guys. I really don't. Isn't that embarrassing? Um, but I do feel like it's doing something. I don't know. I'm not even wearing... I swear to you guys, I'm not even wearing any of that, like, shiny powder people use. You know, like that glow. I'm not. I'm not. And I feel like I'm, like, more glowy than usual. So, I don't know. I mean... Okay, next thing I'll talk about is food because I'm really fat right now is lean cuisine. Okay, you guys know I love the fattening foods. Like I love drive through even though I don't do it. I love Cheesecake Factory, El Torito, um, Chili's, even though I never get to go there because no one will go there with me. Um, I love, I just love that shit, okay? Like I love that food. I hate bougie food. I oh, know I love like steaks and stuff, but I don't like this like small plates kind of places everyone goes to. Like LA is so like uh, small plates and like fucking roasted Brussels sprouts with like goat cheese and like weird shit. Like no, just give me some like orange chicken and rice and like skillet queso and chips and salsa and nachos. Um, I don't know. Pasta. Not really. I don't really like pasta. I love Mexican food so much. We're going to Mexican tonight. Oh, I can't Okay, let's go. This is really good, you guys. If I was sitting in an office waiting, like, and I was like, you know what I mean? Like, I used to work in an office and, like, look forward to lunch. I would look forward to this. Okay, 310 calories only? That's nothing. Let me tell you, this is so good. It tastes like Panda Express orange chicken. I'm not kidding. I was shocked. Go and get this. It's really good, except, okay, watch for these. They're, like, little orange peels. They're disgusting, so stay away from those because it, like, ruins the, t the taste. You get like exactly what it shows here, like four or five pieces of orange chicken, but they're pretty substantial. Like I get full from it. Use chopsticks because you eat slower. Um, just really cool. Bring some soy sauce too. It helps because there's no soy sauce in this. Really good though. Like so, so impressed. Um, like great. Okay. Then what else can I talk about? Uh, I'm going to talk about... Um, I'm going to show you guys the new, the new stones here and the new items. So last, yeah, last night I did share some of my new items and I want to just quickly talk about, um, you guys know that I'm really into like the vintage and the rare stones. I don't, I don't like, I have new stones on my site too. I don't like have all, like a ton of new stones. A lot of them, I'm very particular about which ones I release and like, I have to love the stone to put it on. I'm not just going to put up colors I don't like. But there's stones that I've read about and I've seen like in my, in like different suppliers, um, you know, catalogs and like I do research on, you know, vintage and rare Swarovski that they had like in the 40s and the 30s, um, sorry, 40s and 50s and I just always wish I can get my hands on them but I, it's like impossible unless you come across like a warehouse that's been like untouched, you can't find them. Okay, you guys. I put a tweet out yesterday and I also shared, but I just want to sh tell you guys, I came across a mini gold mine of some vintage and rare Dauphine stones and I saw when the supplier brought them out and they didn't know what I wanted, I almost like, my, I took a breath, I could not believe what I was seeing in front of my face because this is like my business, I love crystals, you guys know that, I was shocked at, this, at what I saw, okay. The first one I talk about is the metallic denim and I'm going to show these up close just because um, this one I did have like two years ago and it sold out real quick and I honestly never been able to find it again. It's a metallic denim color. Okay, I'm going to do this quick because I don't want to like spend a ton of time. It's called metallic denim. These are all available online. This one is called, um, this one is, is vintage but it's not as vintage as the other ones I'm going to show. Um, this one is called Peacock Crystal. It's almost like fire, okay? Really cool. This one, the facets show. The other, the mirrored ones, facets don't show. It's more of a mirror. The next one, this is, I love anything opal, alabaster, and they're really, really difficult to come across. And I was shocked I came across the Dauphine Stone in this size because I can find smaller ones sometimes, but not this size. This is a solid alabaster Swarovski stone. I call it the pink milkshake, but it's alabaster. It is freaking amazing. It's different than my whipped creams. The lighting changes, but um, 
This one, it's one of those ones that I like I've read about and seen about and I could never find it and I for me to have found it in a Dauphine, I'm just like I was I was just I don't know. I I'm, it really really made my like month. Um and it's different. You can't tell here it looks white, but it's a perfect petal bubblegum milkshake pink in alabaster. It's different than my cotton candy and it's totally different than my whipped cream. This is this is one of a kind, and these are all super limited, and you guys are, are jumping on them, so I just wanted you guys to know that. Next one I'm going to talk about is my, are my, the two ones you guys might think are the same. And when I bring them up, you're probably going to think they're the same, but I promise you they're not. And if you're really into, like, my line and stuff and you want to get your hands on them, I don't want you to be discouraged because I want you to, to get, if you're as obsessed as me, I want you to get them both eventually. You know what I mean? but they're both limited. Okay, the one on this side, which is my left, I don't know, I'm not sure if it's your left or right, is the uh, Serpent on Acid. It's the new release version of the one on my right, which I'm not sure which is your side. This one is very old, probably 40s, okay? And this one is new re-released. You can tell that, I don't wanna go too close because you, um, the light camera messes up, but this one has a bigger face on it, like a bigger surface face, and just the facets are a little bit different, but the colors are different. There's a lot more orange in this one, and it's vintage. This one is more or like oil sleek, oil slick, like my bag. It just, I mean, I appreciate vintage stuff. You guys know I love like flea markets and like just like the, like, what's it called? The romanticism of like. Old and vintage is my thing. I don't know. Okay. And the next one I'm going to talk about are my two new metallic cocos. This one is the Petite Metallic Cocoa, and it's with really polished, high polished silver leather, real leather. The back of it is a gray leather, so if it flips, it's pretty, and the front of it is a polished silver. It's perfect for the holidays. Okay, next one, I'm really stoked about this. You guys know I love skins and I love leather. I don't care if you don't, I do, okay? And a lot of other people do. I don't want to hear hate because I don't really care. This one is Snake, and I call it like the light denim or more of like a bleached denim, okay? Snake, and it's real snake, and it's backed with leather, so the back of it is like a skin tone, and the front of it is this blue snake leather, and this is in the big cocoa size. It's really, really, really beautiful. Where's that? So those are my new pieces. I wanted to show you guys those, but I wanted to show you guys those in person, those crystals, because like it's, this is something that I cannot believe I came across, honestly, like from the bottom of my heart, you guys, if you've been following me with like the vintage crystals, it's a big part of my life, like finding these things. So hey, I was, sometimes I'll find like one or two crystals and I'll make a bracelet for myself, but I can't share them with you. You know what I mean? So, um, because I just don't have enough to go around. Okay. The next thing I'm going to talk about is a lipstick, and I, you guys know I don't typically wear lipsticks, I typically just wear uh, like a chapstick, but I bought this last year, it's by Bite Beauty, and the color is Hazelnut, and I think it's, it looks really good, when I, cause I, I've been doing this dead girl eye look a lot, that's like what I do all the time if I wear makeup, but I like hardly wear makeup anymore. Um, I love this, so I'm going to put this over my big pouty lip, um, and I just do this. So, if you guys ever see me wearing a lipstick, it's going to be this until I tell you otherwise. And I just pat it. Sorry, I just burped. That stupid coffee. Um, I don't swipe because I don't want to look like I'm wearing lipstick. And I don't go all the way here. I just keep it. In the middle of my mouth because I feel like my mouth drops off. It goes in, so it looks funny. It looks too overdrawn. So that's how I wear it. So if you guys ever see me wearing lipstick, it's gonna be this one. And it's, oh, she doesn't look pretty with my like eye makeup. I just like it. It looks very, um, no, I just like it. Okay, almost 90s, right? All right, then I'm gonna talk about what I do as far as just like layering. So I love to like, you guys know I love to do that look where I just like, I feel like I'm just too busy for that shit kind of glam look. And this is what I do. I just think that everyone needs to do this, honestly. Um, let me get my scarf too, because I like, I just feel like everyone just needs to do this, okay? Just throw, I just, no matter if you're wearing yoga pants and like a fucking leather jacket, I feel like you need to throw another jacket over yourself. 
I just feel like this layering just looks so good. I don't know what it is. Like, don't you just feel, I just feel like, um, I just feel like the shit. You know what I mean? Like when I do this, I don't know what it is. And I just like to share my little like tri tricks and what I do to like, I don't know what it is, you guys. I'm like, you guys are gonna hate me. Like what the fuck is this bitch doing? But I don't know. I love to just throw shit on like this. I mean, if I'm like sitting at a restaurant, like, I don't know. I just feel cool. I just feel like it's very cool. It's very easy. I just get anything, any big oversized, anything and just throw it over. I just think it's like very, I don't know, like that. <laughs> I just love it, dude. I don't know what the problem my problem is. I'm fucking weird as hell. Okay. Um, last thing I'm going to talk about. Let me stick it through everything. I think I did. Okay. Last thing I'm going to talk about are um, my, just my two, I'm going to talk about my two cologne, perfumes. So, colognes. These are those um, eau de cologne. So the little tiny short bredos that, that a lot of people have are different than these. I think those are like perfumes and these are colognes. I don't know. These are the ones that you can just like spray everywhere. You know what I mean? And that's what I like. Cause I don't, when, when, when I spray like cologne or perfume on my skin, it makes me smell, it smells weird. Like my, my, it doesn't, my skin reacts differently with like smells. So this I like to spray after, I don't spray anything on my skin ever. I spray things on my like clothes, on me everywhere like that, like everywhere. So I had this Sunday cologne, which I shared with you guys, which I like, and I'm gonna describe it a little bit. Actually, no, I'm not, because I don't fucking know what it smells like. I told you, these guys just smell like, they just smell different. They smell really unique. They smell, like if you saw an it girl or guy pass by you, you would imagine they smelled like these things. I don't know, maybe it's just I'm acting bougie as hell, but like, it, I mean, it's what it is. I'm not trying to be like, um, you know, a bitch. Gypsy water. So gypsy water is my favorite. It, it's, it's like everyone needs gypsy water because that's what everyone goes to Bredo for. I feel like for their first piece, they'll always buy gypsy water. So I have the perfume gypsy water and I feel like the cologne, I, I bought the cologne gypsy water too because it smells different than to me. It smells a little bit lighter and I like lighter smells rather than heavier smells. Um, I like to keep it fresh. I don't like to smell perfume, cologne or perfumey. I feel like it's very masculine to smell really heavy. And I feel like, um, when you spray like everywhere, it's more of like romantic and feminine than like spraying hardcore on you like a man. I don't know. That's what, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. That's what I feel. So gypsy water, it's like a lighter version of gypsy water. These are expensive, of course. I mean, they're Bredo, but... I mean, if you want to treat yourself, this is a very luxe item, um, and I enjoy them. I keep them, like, on my, uh, foyer, <laughs> my fucking front entry table, you guys know that, um, little just, like, front entry table, and I just like to, before I leave, I just spray them, um, like, I'm sorry, don't I look cool like this, or do I look the hunchback, I don't know, I just feel like it's very cool, like, I don't know, I just feel on, you guys, who would have known that throwing a fucking cheap-ass jacket over would make you feel so cool? <laughs> Last thing I'm gonna talk about are my postcards. And I, you guys know, you're like, shut up about the postcards, but this is what makes me happy. Like, this stuff that I've talked about, like, I just love it. Like, I don't know what it is. It's just, this is my life, and I like sharing it with you guys. So it's very real and true, and I just love the way these turned out. They're very, they're very cool, and um, my friend Patrick helped me. So hi again, I always keep like, fucking shouting his ass out. <laughs> but um, I linked him on my on my um, Instagram and he's just like I don't know I just love the way these turned out I think they're very pretty and I'm rarely happy with anything you guys know that I I hate everything except my except my line and throwing things over and my postcards <laughs> everything can like be improved but just very they just make me very happy and I I hope you guys like them I know I'm, I've been getting snaps from you guys when I you get your orders and you have them on your fridge or on your bulletin boards or in like your planners and it's just I don't know, makes my heart warm, honestly, it does, you guys do. All right, so this is gonna, this is it, it's gonna come to the end now. I wish I could just sit here all day with you guys and like chill, honestly, um, but I can't because I have to go upload stuff now. So please remember the um, HRH Black Friday, I guess, it's starting now. I'm gonna go right now and enter the code, what's the code gonna be, let's figure it out put at the bottom too, but 
I should just do like Black Friday. I should just write like black. Let's just write black because all I wear is black. Actually, I'm wearing, oh, this is from um, Alexander Wang. It was really expensive though and I don't recommend it. Um, I had a return to do, so, oh my God. Oh my God, I get trouble. <laughs> um, so I was like, I have to choose something. So I got this sweater even though I don't think it's worth it. Um, so yeah, this, let's start Black Friday now. The coat is going to be black. And then as soon as I run out of these, which is gonna be soon, I, I suspect it's gonna be soon because it's a really, really like wonder, it's a really good piece. Um, and it's, I love the fact that it's branded too. It says HRH Collection on it, which is very cool. Um, it's not just like, yeah, it's not just a throwaway. So anyway, I don't know. I can talk about this shit all day, you guys. You guys know that. But I love you guys literally to death. Um, if I could buy every single one of you guys, like a big Chanel bag, I would. That's how much I love you. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> anyway, I hope everyone has a great, great, great Thanksgiving here in the States. If you're celebrating abroad there too, I love you guys so much. You um, really, really mean so much to me. And have fun shopping. Um, email me. You guys are more than welcome to email me. Oh my God, this coffee. If you like want something but don't know what it is, I'm here for you. I'm... I answer emails all the time. I'm pretty much the only one that does invoicing that or my assistant. I'm in the process of rehiring though. I don't know if you guys saw that Instagram and that is it. Okay. Fucking awful. <laughs> Bye.